Hey guys, welcome back to Karinka Fin channel and uh, today we're going to build a simple uh, Next.js full stack application uh, with Prisma. So uh, this will be a basic application. So that way you can uh, get started with Prisma and understanding basics of this uh, Node.js and TypeScript ORM. And so we'll use Next.js um, uh, with this project and for the uh, front-end UI we're going to use is semantic UI react and uh, we'll connect uh, the database with a Postgres container in a Docker container and uh, let's get started uh, creating the project and uh, adding a few dependencies. Okay, so I'm on my desktop and the first thing that I want to do is that I want to create a new uh, Next.js application with the, uh, the command npx create next application. And uh, I want to give it a name as uh, my next Prisma app. Uh, let's create this one. Okay, so I'm in the project. So let's add dependencies. So in yarn package.com, let's find the first thing. I'm going to use TypeScript, so I want to add TypeScript. Uh, then I want to find a uh, Prisma client. So it will be Prisma client. I want to also add Prisma. I will need types node. Types react. I will need semantic UI CSS. and the semantic UI React. When I open project with VS Code, and these are our dependencies. And since we are working with TypeScript, I want to quick rename my index and app.js files and also the API clear the console and actually want to run yarn dev and see if everything is going correctly is detecting TypeScript project and local loss 2000, we have the project. Okay, now we are ready to uh, actually initialize Prisma in our project. So I want to stop the server and type npx Prisma in it. So what we have now in the project is the Prisma folder with the schema Prisma and uh, in ver environment variables. So uh, actually we want to create uh, our schema that we need uh, for that. So I want to actually create a model called user. So this will have an ID of type int, just a couple of annotations. default or increment. We will have a first name of type string. Last name as well type string. We will have a role of type role that we don't have but we will have in a moment. So this will be default 
uh, I will use like developer email of type string and an avatar. This will be uh, actually uh, github uh, repository.png URL and for creating the avatar. So here we can have the enum role. So this is user admin developer. And before pushing these uh, these migrations actually in the uh, database, I want to uh, create actually the Docker Compose for initializing our Docker containers. So I will maybe accelerate the speed when I write this and you can follow the uh, Docker Compose. Okay, this is the Docker Compose YAML. So let's uh, create the container uh, in the bash. So Docker Compose uh, app in the touch it mode. So it's going to create my next Prisma app in the uh, dashboard of every container. So as you can see here, is uh, up and running the uh, Manex Prisma app uh, in the Docker dashboard. Uh, make sure you uh, grab this user name and password in the environment variable here. So instead of John Doe random password, you copy and paste this. So this will be the database URL that you will Prisma is going to uh, use for uh, the connection. So now we can uh, do the migration with the Prisma migrate dev dash dash preview dash feature and is going to uh, actually I had another container but in your case it will be your first migration so I will type yes so in this case, you will have the name of the migration and I just want to type in it. And now in your project, you have the migrations here of in it. Okay, let's move on and uh, create uh, our first API. So uh, actually, I want to rename this create. So this will be our first API for Prisma uh, for creating uh, the uh, user. So uh, this will be export default async. So request, it will be, I just want to actually zoom a little bit. Request will be of type next API request and response next API response. This is an error function. And instead of doing this, just want to write. So if request that method is different from post, I want to return status response that steers this will be four or five and uh, give it a JSON a message method not 
allowed. We'll have a track catch block in track catch. I want to actually create a body. So this will be request dot body. I actually have uh, I get used to uh, do this, but I realized that I have some uh, some errors actually. So if you import this and you do user dot create input and you parse actually with this. Uh, maybe it's going to work initially, but uh, then if you want to create complex objects, uh, let's suppose we put this in comments. So for me, actually, is working also this one. So const user destructuring the variable request dot body. So let's create another variable. Save the user equal await because we are in a sync function. So prisma dot user dot create, but as you can see is not going to recognize the um, the uh, user because we have to run this command and px prisma actually is npx not npm Okay, so now, so instead of using uh, the Prisma import like this, if you have a lot of connections, uh, it's going to uh, give an error. So actually, I want to create a new folder here called lib. And in this folder, I will have a Prisma file for having the uh, Prisma client globally. So I want to write declare. So now we can import Prisma from lib Prisma. So we have the user and let's create first query and give it data. And this will be the user. And actually, I can cut this one. and pass actually the saved user. And in case of error, just I want to spawn that status of 400. The JSON. Our body will have a message of something went wrong. And I want to save this one. Okay, so now we can close all of these files here. Now we want to focus on the uh, index that we have here. So we can delete this main and also the footer here. We can actually so delete the div, we can have the uh, head. And um, 
actually we want to use the CDN for semantic uh, UI so this will be the link I want to save this one okay so we will have a container porting from semantic UI react and uh, this container just want to give it a style for having a little bit of space so margin of 20 of course I want to close my uh, container so we'll have a header as well will be an h3 so this is the uh, syntax for semantic ui for having the h3 title so we can write this app is powered by next.js semantic ui and we can also import package that version and you can import the package version from semantic UI react packages. And so uh, now it's complaining that we should have one parent element. So we want to actually close all of this stuff with this and it's no longer complaining this is pkg version so as you can see we have the title so let's move on and we want to start under the header to build the form I want to close the form and this will have on submit so we'll have an async method we can start to uh, build the body they will pass to the query so prisma user create inputs so we'll have a first name the last name role email avatar so all of the properties are inside here in the uh, node modules of the uh, prisma user uh, user model okay so now i want to create um, actually uh, another lib here but i will put this one in the folder called utils and this utils will have file called fetcher so everything they will fetch it will be here fetcher this will have the url and data as parameter so fetch We have the location origin plus URL. We can pass the math, not this, but this one. Data or post get. 
we have the credentials include you want to pass uh, nethers for avoiding course problems you can write content type application slash json and finally the body and we can json that stringify what am i writing i don't know the data and then as the callback response to json and this is our fetch uh, lib so in the uh, index i want to continue writing our query so since we are in a sync method wait fetcher so you import fetcher from the lib this will be the url so in the our case api uh, slash create then we'll pass the uh, data so it will be user and we want to pass the body so uh, this stuff are complaining because of course uh, we have to create uh, hooks so just after the home uh, i want to create a parameter of initial user the way we can fetch from the prisma every uh, user so uh, the first thing that I want to do, I want to create uh, outside the home here. Uh, I want to create an async function. Uh, actually, I just want to call it get server side props. Even if this normal this function, you uh, you write this in the uh, dedicated dynamic API, but just want to uh, call it for the love of the meaning that this is a kind of a server side prop because it's going to interrogate the uh, Prisma actually query for find many users. So our users will have a type of Prisma uh, that user unchecked create input and this is because in this one we'll have also did so we can grab this and this will be equal equal to await prisma so from lib prisma user find many so this is a, this will be the function for uh, actually interrogate prisma giving our users so return props of initial users and this will be returning uh, the users so i want to create a hook for uh, that so let's destructurize this so users set users equal use state import from types react index prisma dot 
actually is the same of this. Well, I'm actually wrong because this is user unchecked create input. And it's again complaining because the import here we should have at so. And this will be the initial users. Okay, so other hooks will be first name. So set first name uses date of empty string. I want to copy this and paste. This will be last name. Set last name. This will be the email. Set email. Avatar set avatar use state and finally the role of set role. So if we save this one, this is actually just empty and is not longer complaining. So under this uh, fetcher, we have the await. So I want to use the set users state. So our users and the body, the rest operator. So set first name because you want to empty the inputs when we uh, save the first user. Last name. The row null. and set the mail of empty. Okay, we can move on under the form tag, we can uh, start to build the form group. The form group will have a width of equal. will have a form input. This will have Floyd the property. The label first name. So I just want to save this one and give it a look. Okay, it seems to work. We can have also a placeholder. Same thing. The value of first name. Lastly, the method on change when we type some input. An event as parameter and set first name e target dot value. Actually, we can close this 
form input or close. So actually, I want to just give it a empty line. So copy this one. This will be the second. So last name, last name, value of last name, and set last name, a target value. And uh, we will also have the avatar. This will be the avatar. Set avatar e target value. Okay, so now we instead of having form that input, we can have form that select is gonna be the um, drop down actually for uh, selecting. So the value it will be. the role on change just write handle change and we are going to create this function so before the return constant all change equal wanna have parameter of event and the value as object use the set role state and we pass the value so the end of change is calling here so it's complaining because as you can see property options is missing in type. So this type form select. So we want to also create um, outside the D home here. A couple of options. Empty array. So this will be, you can also use a key for that. I don't know, M a text developer and value developer so I can copy and paste this for our three roles, so it will be the user and a lack admin. So now I can pass the options. Uh, to our form selector. So so options equal options. I want to save this so we have the value. Uh, actually, we can also have fluid property and uh, label. Role, uh, we can also have a placeholder or role. I want to save this. Let's take a look to our page. What does it look like? So it seems that we have a few problems with the uh, CSS, and uh, we should take a look to our head. And of course, instead of using uh, rel in the link 
we should put a style sheet like this. So if I save this one, as you can see, we have uh, a nice and better UI here. Okay, so let's now create a save button. So under the form group, we can have form button and this will be the submit. And we have here the uh, submit button. And I'm noticing that I have a problem because this input should be aligned on the same line. So uh, let's take a look. And uh, of course, this form tag uh, should surround everything until here before the container. And as you can see, we have a better look. So we have John Doe first user again. Let's grab a URL and add that PNG. Let's say I'm an admin and uh, let's see what happens if I click on submit. It seems that we have a, here a good response. So I want to actually open Table Plus. This is a free tool for. Um, creating your own Postgres SQL connection. So this was a, uh, actually my awesome Prisma dash next connect. And let's see what we have here. Okay, I forgot to add uh, an email uh, input. So because we fix this, you can uh, download the table plus uh, for Mac OS and uh, install and uh, having this kind of nice dashboard for checking your uh, user. So let's fix the email that we have here. So uh, we can put this before the avatar. So This will be the email. The email and set the email. Okay, so if you want, we can uh, grab another user, a GitHub. Uh, I don't know, uh, John Doe, if we have something. Yeah, you know, we don't mind because it's just empty. Maybe it exists or not, but uh, actually Jane, Dane, you know, no matter what kind, Jane, Dane. Prisma.io dot PNG uh, shall be a developer. Submit this. We have a fun and nice response. So as you can see, the first one, the email was empty. So we have here Jane Dane developer, Jane Dane, Prismio, and this will be our avatar. So the next part is to create here a simple table. And uh, you can find this in semantic UI. I'm skipping actually the part where I show you uh, where we can find the components of a semantic UI because the aim of this story is just to uh, showing you how we can um, have knowledge about uh, Prisma. So in this case, we uh, we are creating a user, but uh, we can have also a delete because this will need the delete for deleting also. Uh, uh, the uh, user. So in this case will be an export default is sync request response. So trackage block. Um, and again, as the body of here, 
we can do like this but this one will be DID so because we have to find the user ID for deleting actually and uh, the first condition if if there is no ID response that what am I writing Okay, so we'll have an error, you should have an ID, I don't know, you customize your error message. And um, return, or we create a user in a variable, Prisma, yeah, or imported user delete where the ID so you don't need to do something like ID and uh, the response that status will be 200 Turn our user and in case of error response that status of 400 JSON body message something went went wrong So we have the delete uh, API method. Okay, so now we can move on and create the table under the uh, form actually. So the first thing is a cool divider. And the divider could have also title in the middle, so horizontal. And uh, we can write users. So we have this kind uh, of call uh, line for separate the table with title users. And under the uh, this line, we can start to create the table. And a uh, table will have a basic property. They call it this very. Seld collapsing and uh, inside this table we can have table that header and the table that row and we can have uh, actually three three cells so table dot cell we can copy and paste twice times and uh, actually table a row this will be a header cell so I have to copy and paste again so table header cell so capital user email and uh, we'll create an action for having a cool button here so okay so uh, at Saudi table adder we can have table that body and we can start to map uh, into our users here that way we can show because we have already two users so open curly braces and user that map this will be our function for mapping so I want to have a user and an index actually and I will start to create the row
So table row will have a key of index because that should separate the children. So a table cell. And in the table cell, we will have a header as there will be an H4. can pass an image and the image should import this one actually we can take it from the user avatar this could be rounded size mini if we have one so we actually have our avatars here because these uh, we grabbed before the last one was the John Doe so let's continue this and, um, and out, uh, under the image we can have the adder that uh, content in the content we can have user that first name plus an empty space plus user that last name uh, we can have here uh, adder that subheader and I uh, want to create a function for uh, capitalizing actually I want to show you what it looks like if you put uh, just you that role So like this admin, so you want to just capitalize the first letter. So the function of capitalizing uh, will look like this. So under the handle change function, uh, we can have a, a const capitalize and uh, this will have S as parameter. So if type of s different from a string or return empty actually otherwise return s mm, charret zero that two uppercase plus s uh, slice I th uh, yeah I think it's lice one two lowercase I want to save this and now we can uh, have this function of in the uh, subheader So I want to also run this capitalize this is a sad actually. As you can see we have the cool admin. Just want to zoom a little bit actually. Admin and developer. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are under this first table cell. We have the, uh, actually we can have another uh, table cell here. And we can have actually user 
that email. And the first one doesn't have because I forgot to put it when I made the first request. Actually, let's uh, copy and paste this one. Let's start to create our third cell. Uh, okay, so we can have a button. I did fast, but you should import all of this stuff here. So don't forget to import everything from semantic UI react. So I'm on the button. So the button uh, we can also have if we take a look in button here, we can also have some kind of uh, animations like, you know, this you have these three animations here. So I'm going to use just the fade so animated fade uh we will have a color of red and a d on click this is the interesting part for us so async no parameters so again, await called the fetcher lib that we have here. And as you can see, we have the API slash delete as the URL. Uh, we can pass an ID. And this will be the our user dot ID. So user dot ID is okay. So await set users and actually want to then uh, filter our users because want to be able to delete the line and having other the other uh, users. So user so user different from you kind of call the naming guy, but you should follow the convention. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So under the button, actually, uh, we can, I think I have to be here, like, button.content visible and this will be a delete just take a look until now what we have it's kind of like cool we're missing the other the icon and this will be the button I forgot to put content hidden and inside here, we can have an icon name user delete Okay, so we have our user delete here. So uh, actually, we are done, we should uh, test the uh, the button here. So let's clear the console and the network. And if I delete this one, you're good. So we have the delete, but uh, we actually have a problem here. So as you can see, the the uh, set user uh, worked, but if I refresh, I didn't actually delete this one. Just want to try to restart, maybe just a matter of restarting the server. Refresh this and delete and de delete. Okay, so in this case is successful. Um, let's grab another user. I don't know, Jacob. 
some random name just for having a repository. Sorry for you, man, but just for no, guys, Jacob A at gmail dot com, avatar dot png, a user. Yeah, it's not visible because. Ah, uh, Daniel. Okay, uh, just some Daniel. Okay, at Prisma. Io. Avatar. Png. Let me think. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but we have ERD. Don't we have this? Oh, this was before, but. Uh, what we have as user three users. So if I delete this one, we now have okay something yeah I delete this one. And this was deleted. So uh, our APIs uh, works uh, well. So uh, I'm sorry that I didn't explain maybe a lot of stuff about the semantic UI, but this is fine. I found this uh, UI framework very cool. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have questions, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And uh, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.